How are we doing guys? We're going to do another wallet review here. This one is going to be on my Koyono X Slimmy. So if you guys are looking for this, you can just simply Google X Slimmy wallet and you will come across Koyono's website and uh, you'll see that they have a handful of varieties based off of the original Slimmy wallet. This one in particular, as I stated already, is the X Slimmy. So you can see it's a black leather finish. Um, leather, well, it's black leather and with uh, black finish and magenta threading as well as magenta interior and pretty much the Slimmy series of wallets is uh, supposed to slim your load from big bulky trifolds and bifolds to just pretty much carrying the, um, the bare minimum or the what you know the necessities in a wallet not extra receipts, extra cards that you use you know on a rare occasion um, talking about really narrowing it down to stuff that you really, really need to carry on you, you know, such as ID and maybe some insurance cards or whatever and some cash uh, versus, you know, wallets that are full of receipts and gift cards and, you know, random grocery store cards that you just really don't need because, I mean, any grocery store you go to, you just could type in a phone number. So there's a lot of stuff in wallets that people carry that you just don't really need that bulk up your EDC. But as you can see here, it is just a rectangle shape. Uh, threading from here to here. This is completely sealed off. You see there's no opening. This is where it's closed. And then on the top you see where it's open and on the side you see it's open. So this may be a turn off to some people. Um, I know to me at first when I first saw this design it um, was kind of a pet peeve for me just because it didn't look finished. Like I'd almost rather have it open on the bottom and be like a really simple bifold but then the design wouldn't work. But after watching Steve Montelli's video on his Slimmy, um, which turned out to not be that slim, I did some more research and I came across their X Slimmy. And as you can see here, when squeezed together, overall this is a pretty thin package. And mind you, I normally don't even carry this much cash. This is mainly for example. Um, but as you see here, this wallet is extremely simple. It literally, taking the cash out here, consists of three pockets or literally two pockets and just one middle compartment here. So as you see here, it's like a nylon material that's on the inside and um, this is where you tuck your cash or if you want extra cards and literally you'll see that there's just two pockets here to stuff all your cards in. And for me that's great because I only carry about six cards, five cards including my um, bottle opener here that I keep in my wallet but um, if just carrying the cards alone, you can see this is an extremely thin package all around. Not um, super thick at all. And the problem that Steve Montelli had with his regular Slimmy, the original Slimmy, is that it had extra flaps of leather on the inside. That made it pretty thick from the get-go. But taking out all the cards in the X Slimmy, let's see, make sure I got everything. You have a very slim profile of a wallet. I mean it's ridiculously thin. So that's leather in um, exterior and a nylon interior. Now they have this in magenta and I think they have it in like an arctic gray or whatnot but uh, I'm a fan of bright colors, more pop as I have like the blue on the uh, note sleeve wallet by Bellroy that I have so I, I opted for the pink. But as you see here, this is actually 10 bills, so quite a bit of cash. I mean, most people probably carry 5s and 10s, or maybe you just have a single 20 or a couple 20s or whatever. You normally don't have like a wad of cash, but just for example, I have the cash to show you guys that you can see how thin it is here. And then I literally load my cards so they're the most convenient to, to take out. So... I'll load my debit card on the very top, I'll load my ID on the very back so for quick access debit use all I have to do is just slide out from the top and for quick ID access I have it right there on the bottom and I will also show you another technique that I use to uh, more easily pull cards in and out of this and as you guys can see I'm only carrying about three cards on each side um, I'm pretty sure it, each side can carry like I want to say like I know at least four cards on each side, if not more, probably six cards you can probably jam in here. Because as you can see, 
just with already three cards in here, there's a lot of space that I can still stuff into these pockets and have it be relatively thin. So you can see the looseness and that's also what I'm getting to is if you have a lot of cards in here or even a little bit and you want to reach like a middle card you give it a little squeeze like this and that provides a lot of room so you can kinda you know get in between and shuffle out what you want to get so that makes it more convenient so if I want to get in between there I can go ahead and grab a card and then cash uh, this is probably one of my favorite parts about the slimmy is you can just carry your wad of cash and literally just force it in and tuck it right down and there's just zero effort getting the cash all the way in one problem I had with the Saddleback ID wallet tucking in cash from the top is because both sides of the small ID wallet from Saddleback are enclosed so when you try to tuck in cash from the top a lot of the time you get bills sticking out like this or you can't quite get it all in there so you have some bills kind of fraying out the top but due to this design and how it's kind of like a taco you literally just set it all the way down deep in there and as you can see this corner part keeps it nice and settled as well as all the cards and the cards and stuff don't so easily fall out but like I said if you give it a squeeze and throw out then you can get your cards out like that but overall um, I'm a really big fan of the X Slimmy wallet so much in fact that this is probably by not by far but probably at the top of my list for minimalist wallets just for how small of a package it is and how convenient it is because like I said I haven't found a front pocket wallet that has easier access to cash sliding in and out there and I have to say the nylon probably helps a lot with that because it just you know no resistance and then also for card access they're literally just right at your fingertips so anytime you need a card just give it a little pinch or I don't even need to give it a pinch because I don't carry that many cards in here I can just pull cards out, whatever one I want, straight out from either side without any kind of difficulty. So that is the X Slimmy by Koyono, and I have to say it's um, an excellent product for the minimalist. And even if you're carrying, I think probably anywhere from eight to ten, maybe maybe even twelve, uh, that might be stretching it. Um, you can fit it in here and still in a pretty rather thin fashion. And um, you can see even with a wad of cash of 10 bills, I'm sure you can fit more. Of course, you know, the more cash, the thicker it's going to get. But, um, but, I mean, if you just want to carry, say, just three bills and, you know, like I said, most people carry bigger bills. You know, maybe you got a 5, 10, or a couple 20s, whatever you want to put in there and slide that right in. It fits very easily. And you can see once it's in your pocket, it is a very, very flat profile. Overall, a very thin wallet. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Um, hopefully I didn't babble on too much. If I missed anything that you guys are interested in, um, you can go ahead and drop a comment or shoot me a message. Um, this is vegetable tan leather. Uh, like I said, this is a magenta threading. I it believe it's some kind of nylon material that's on the inside. Two pockets, one center for to throw cash or exit cards if you want to throw it in there. Um, price range on this wallet, I believe it was about $50, $52 shipped to the door. Uh, for this wallet in particular, they do have some more expensive models and perhaps maybe some cheaper ones. But if you're looking at this exact model, the x -Lemmy, you can expect to pay about $50 shipped. But uh, thus far, I have to say it is uh, worth the money and the quality of the stitching is very nice. And the overall quality of the entire wallet is uh, very nice thus far. So, alright guys, till the next wallet or knife review or whatever comes to my mind. Alright, take care.